The adoption of plug-in electric vehicles in Germany is actively supported by the German federal government. Under its National Platform for Electric Mobility, Chancellor Angela Merkel set the goal in 2010 to deploy 1 million electric vehicles on German roads by 2020. As of December 2017, a total of 129,246 plug-in electric cars have been registered in Germany since 2010. The country is the largest passenger car market in Europe, however, as of December 2016, ranked as the eighth largest plug-in market in the world and the fifth largest in Europe. About 80% of the plug-in electric cars registered in the country through September 2016 were registered since January 2014. As of November 2014, the country had 4,800 public charging stations. The market share of plug in electric passenger cars increased from 0.12% of new car sales in 2012 to 0.25% in 2013, and reached 0.40% in 2014. As plug-in car sales surge in 2015, the segment's market share increased to 0.7% of new car sales. The German monthly plug-in market share passed the 1% mark for the first time ever in December 2015, with an all-time record market share of 1.28% of new car registrations that month. After the introduction of the purchase subsidy in mid-2016, the plug-in segment achieved a market share of 1.1% in September, the highest during the first nine months of 2016. The market share remained at 0.7% in 2016, but rose to 1.6% in 2017, with sales up 217% from 2016. Initially, the government announced that it would not provide subsidies to promote sales of plug in electric vehicles, however, by the end of 2014 it was recognized that the country was well behind the set sales targets. As a result, an incentive scheme to promote plug-in electric vehicle adoption was approved in April 2016 with a budget of €1 billion, Euros $1 billion of which, a total of €600 million, Euros $678 million is reserved for purchase subsidies, which are expected to run until all the money is dispersed, estimated to last until 2019 at the latest. Electric car buyers get a €4,000 4 discount while buyers of plug-in hybrid vehicles get a discount of €3,000 Premium cars are not eligible to the incentive. Only electric vehicles purchased after 18 May 2016 are eligible for the bonus. topic government incentives In May 2010, under its National Platform for Electric Mobility, Chancellor Angela Merkel set the goal to bring 1 million electric vehicles on German roads by 2020. However, the government also announced that it would not provide subsidies to the sales of plug-in electric cars but instead it would only fund research in the area of electric mobility. As of April 2016, electric vehicles and plug-ins in Germany are exempt from the annual circulation tax for a period of five years from the date of their first registration. In 2016, the annual circulation tax exemption was extended from 5 to 10 years, backdated to 1 January 2016. The private use of a company car is treated as taxable income in Germany and measured at a flat monthly rate of 1% of the vehicle's gross list price. So plug-in electric cars have been at a disadvantage since their price tag can be as much as double that of a car using a conventional internal combustion engine due to the high cost of the battery. 
In June 2013 German legislators approved a law that ends the tax disadvantage for corporate plug-in electric cars. The law, backdated to 1 January 2013, allows private users to offset the list price with €500 Euros per unit of battery size, expressed in kilowatt-hours the maximum offset was set at 10,000 euros corresponding to a 20 kWh battery. The amount one can offset will sink annually by 50 euros per kilowatt hour. As part of the package of financial incentives approved in 2016, private owners of plug-in electric vehicles that charge their cars in their employer premises are exempted from declaring this perk as a cash benefit in their income tax return. Employers who provide this perk are allowed to discount from their income tax a 25% of the lump sum value of the cash benefit. These two fiscal benefits apply only from the 1st of January 2017 until the end of 2020. In August 2014, the federal government announced its plan to introduce non-monetary incentives through new legislation to be effective by early 2015. The proposed user benefits include measures to privilege battery-powered cars, fuel cell vehicles and some plug-in hybrids, just like Norway does, by granting local governments the authority to allow these vehicles into bus lanes, and to offer free parking and reserved parking spaces in locations with charging points. Not all plug-in hybrids will qualify for the benefits, only those with CO2 emissions of no more than 50 g per kilometer or an all-electric range of over 30 km are eligible. The range criteria will rise to 40 km starting in 2018. The Bundestag passed the Electric Mobility Act in March 2015 authorizing local government to grant these non-monetary incentives, which are not mandatory. The law also provides issuing special license plates for electric vehicles to allow proper identification to avoid abuses of these privileges. As of March 2015, just 12 municipalities are considering to allow electric vehicles in the bus lanes in their jurisdiction. Most cities, including Hamburg and Munich, are not willing to allow electric cars in their bus lanes. The special license plate authorized by the 2015 Electric Mobility Act adds the letter E at the end of the license number. Owners of all-electric cars and plug-in hybrids with a minimum all-electric range of 30 km can apply for the special license. The minimum range for eligible plug-in hybrids goes up to 40 km from January 1, 2018, according to the fourth progress report of the German National Platform for Electric Mobility, only about 24,000 plug-in electric cars are on German roads by the end of November 2014, well behind the target of 100,000 unit goal set for 2014. As a result, Chancellor Angela Merkel recognized in December 2014 that the government has to provide more incentives to meet the goal of having one million electric cars on the country's roads by 2020. Among others, the federal government is considering to offer a tax break for zero-emission company cars, more subsidies to expand charging infrastructure, particularly to deploy more public fast charges, and more public funding for research and development of the next generation of rechargeable batteries. <laughs> Purchase incentives. At the beginning of 2016, German politicians from the three parties in Mrs. Merkel's ruling coalition and auto executives began talks to introduce a subsidy for green car buyers worth up to €5,000 $5, to boost sales of electric and plug-in hybrid cars. 
As of February 2016, the German government proposal is for the auto industry to cover 40% of the cost of the purchase subsidy. Private buyers would get the full €5,000 subsidy, while corporate buyers would receive €3,000 for each electric car, and the program is expected to run until 2020, the deadline set to achieve the goal of 1 million electric cars on German roads. Incentives will fall by €500 Euros each year. In March 2016, Nissan Europe announced its support to the Green Car Incentive and its commitment to double the government's e-premium incentive when buying a Nissan electric car, with a reduction of the purchase price of the same amount of the subsidy. Nissan Center Europe CEO said. We remain convinced that the goal of 1 million electric cars by 2020 is still achievable. According to Nissan, if from now on electric car sales double every year until 2020, it is still possible to achieve the government goal. An incentive scheme to promote plug in electric vehicle adoption was approved in April 2016 with a budget of €1 billion. Euros $1 billion. A total of €600 million, Euros $678 million is reserved for the purchase subsidies, which are expected to run until all the money is dispersed, estimated to last until 2019 at the latest. Another 300 million euros, 339 million dollars are budgeted to finance the deployment of charging stations in cities and on autobahn highway stops. And another 100 million euros, 113 million dollars would go toward purchasing electric cars for federal government fleets. The program is aimed to promote the sale of 400,000 electric vehicles. The cost of the purchase incentive is shared equally between the government and automakers. Electric car buyers get a €4,000 4 discount while buyers of plug-in hybrid vehicles get a discount of €3,000 Premium cars, such as the Tesla Model S and BMW i8, are not eligible to the incentive because there is a cap of €60,000 $67, for the purchase price. Only electric vehicles purchased after 18 May 2016 are eligible for the bonus and the owner must keep the new electric car at least nine months. The same rule applies for leasing. As of September 2016, BMW, Citroen, Daimler, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Peugeot, Renault, Toyota, Volkswagen, and Volvo had signed up to participate in the scheme. In May 2016, Nissan announced the company decided to raise the bonus with an additional €1,000 $1 to €5,000 $5 for customers of its all-electric LEAF car and ENV200 utility van. The online application system to claim the bonus went into effect on 2 July 2016. As of September 2016, a total of 26 plug-in electric cars and vans are eligible for the purchase bonus. According to the Federal Office of Economics and Export Control a total of 4,451 applications have been made for the government subsidy for the purchase of a plug-in electric model as of 30 September 2016, consisting of 2,650 all-electrics and 1,801 plug-in hybrids. As of 30 September 2016, the federal states with the most claims are Bayern 1130, Baden-Württemberg 873, and Nordrhein-Westfalen 726. 
As of the 1st of September 2016, the following 26 plug-in electric cars and vans are eligible for the purchase bonus: Audi A3 e-tron, BMW 225xe, BMW 330e, BMW i3, Citroen Berlingo Electric, Citroen C0, Ford Focus Electric, Kia Soul EV, Mercedes-Benz B-Class Electric Drive B250e, Mercedes Benz C 350e, Mitsubishi i Miev, Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, Nissan ENV 205 and 7 seater combi, Nissan Leaf, Peugeot Ion, Peugeot Partner Electric, Renault Kangoo ZE, Renault Zoe, Smart 42 Electric Drive, Toyota Prius Plug in Hybrid, Volkswagen e Golf, Volkswagen e Up, Volkswagen Golf GTE, Volkswagen Passat GTE, and Volvo. V60 plug-in hybrid. As of 30 September 2016, the models with the most applications are the Renault Zoe 876, BMW i3 766, Audi A3 e-tron 462, BMW 225 XE 440, and Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 353. Topic Controversies Loophole to EU regulations According to Der Spiegel, by the early fourth quarter of 2015 the Kia Soul EV ranked as the top-selling plug-in electric car in Germany during 2015 with 2,459 units sold, with almost 1,000 registered in October, nevertheless, there were actually only a few of them on German roads. At the time, about 1,400 Seoul EVs had been shipped to Norway and sold as used cars, where availability of new Seoul EVs was limited. According to the magazine, Kia Motors is registering the electric cars in Germany and then shipping them to Norway, which does not belong to the European Union, as a strategy to reduce the average CO2 fleet emissions of the entire Hyundai Kia Group. This strategy allows the carmaker to comply with European Union regulations that mandate 130 grams of CO2 emission per kilometre in 2015, and so they avoid to pay a fine of €70 million Euros per year for each gram above the established average limit. According to German authorities this loophole is legal. A total of 2,044 Kia Soul EVs were imported to Norway as used cars during 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National Platform for Electric Mobility. The German National Platform for Electric Mobility, National Platform Elektromobilität is an advisory council of the German federal government for electric vehicle introduction. It consists of the top representatives of industry 10 members, politics 6, science 3, associations 3, and unions 1. It was officially established on 3 May 2010 during a meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Its task is to push on the National Development Plan for Electric Mobility National Entwicklungsplan Elektromobilität. The goal for 2020 of the NPE is to develop Germany to the leading supplier and lead market for electric mobility and to gain employment in the country. Topic: <laughs> Charging Infrastructure As of November 2014, the country had 4,800 public charging stations. Several pilot projects have been implemented based on partnerships of carmakers and utility companies. Daimler AG and utility RWE AG run a joint electric car and charging station test project in the German capital, Berlin, called e-mobility Berlin. 
They have set up 60 charging stations in Berlin September 2009 and plan to expand the system to include 500 charging stations. Daimler has provided for 100 smart electric drive cars to the project. The second phase started in November 2010. The RWE subsidiary, RWE Mobility, created cooperations with the Automobilist Club ADAC, Car Rental Service Sixth and Car Park Provider APCOA to equip all locations with charging stations, since mid of 2009. Renault joined the RWE Mobility Program in September 2009 whereby the project goals of erecting charging stations were enlarged to mid of 2011 Renault's partner Nissan has joined the RWE Mobility Program in June 2010 announcing that RWE will create a network of 1,000 charging stations until the end of the year 2010 focusing on the Berlin and Rhine Ruhr region. In August 2010, a cooperation with fuel retailer PKN Orlen was announced. They plan to equip 30 gas stations in Hamburg with charging points for electric vehicles. Carmaker BMW and utility Vattenfall run a joint electric car and charging test project with Mini E electric cars. A total of 100 trial vehicles were assigned. Testing in Berlin began in June 2009, and for the second phase, a total of 70 vehicles were delivered in March 2011 to private customers and fleet users. Field testing began in Munich in September 2010, for a leasing fee of €400 approximately $517 per month. Up to June 2011 there were 42 public charge points by Vattenfall in Berlin and the company is in the process of building 50 public charge points in Hamburg. Carmaker VW and Utility E.ON run a joint electric car and charging station test project in the German capital, Berlin and in Wolfsburg. The ''Electric Mobility Fleet Test'' was started as a research project with mostly partners in German universities using the VW hybrid cars to be tested in 2010 Eon has later joined also in the Mini E project providing the infrastructure in Munich which was started in July 2009 erecting an initial series of 11 charging stations May 2010 enlarging it continuously 21 locations in December 2010 the region test in Munich has been extended with BMW i prototypes BMW i3 and BMW i8 as well as Audi e-tron models project in 2011. E.ON has announced to provide the EFLOP project with 200 public charging stations the Munich region, Carmaker Daimler, the utility ENBW and the government of Baden-Württemberg announced in June 2010 to expand the «Landesinitiative Elektromobilität» program with the «E-Mobility Baden-Württemberg» project that includes erecting 700 charging stations in the state until the end of 2011. Additionally there will be 200 electric vehicles added to the test including some electric trucks. The government of Baden-Württemberg has assigned €28.5 million Euros to support EV research up to 2014. Meanwhile, ENBW has sponsored 500 e-bikes in the Electronauten project in 2010 which can use 13 charging stations in the Stuttgart region. ENBW has claimed to offer 250 charging stations for the Electronauten 500 project in May 2011 although the map has not been updated. Bosch has developed a new charging station type for ENBW that is capable for 63A. The station was certified on 11 April 2011 by DEKRA and ENBW has announced to install 260 charge stations in the following weeks for Merigiomobil project in Stuttgart and Karlsruhe. 
In November 2011 the Car2 Go carsharing service announced plans to operate in Stuttgart in 2012 ENBW reassured to have 500 charging spots ready in time with the rollout of the Car2 Go vehicles in the second half of 2012. Topic: <laughs> Sales As of December 2017, a total of 129,246 plug-in electric cars have been registered in Germany since 2010. The country is the largest passenger car market in Europe, however, as of December 2016, ranked as the eighth largest plug-in market in the world and the fifth largest in Europe. About 80% of the new plug-in cars registered in the country through 30 September 2016 were registered since January 2014, with 13,049 units registered in 2014, 23,464 registered in 2015, and 17,074 during the first nine months of 2016. The official German definition of electric vehicles changed at the beginning of 2013, before that, official statistics only registered all electric vehicles because plug-in hybrids were accounted together with conventional hybrids. As a result, the registrations figures for 2012 and older do not account for total new plug in electric car registrations. The fleet of electric car registered in the country increased from 1,558 units in 2009 to 2,307 in 2010. The electric car stock in 2011 increased 96.8% from 2010 to 4,541 units registered, and up 56.7% from 2011 to 7,114 units in 2012, reaching 12,156 registered cars on 1 January 2014. At the beginning of 2014 registrations of plug-in electric vehicles represented a 0.028% market share of all passenger vehicles registered in Germany. Most of the plug-in stock in the country was registered by corporate buyers. The plug-in hybrid segment in the German market in 2014 experienced an explosive growth of 226.9% year-over-year, and the overall plug-in segment increased 75.5% from a year earlier. The surge in sales continued in 2015, the plug-in hybrid segment grew 125.1% year-over-year, while the all-electric segment climbed 91.2% from the previous year. Topic: 2011-2012 During 2011, a total of 2,154 pure electric cars were registered in the country, up from 541 units in 2010. All electric car sales for 2011 were led by the Mitsubishi i-Miev family with 683 i-Mievs, 208 Peugeot Ions and 200 Citroen C0s, representing 50.6% of all electric car registrations in 2011. Plug-in hybrid registrations totaled 266 units in 2011, 241 Opel Amperas and 25 Chevrolet Volts, for a total of 2,420 plug-in electric vehicles registered in 2011, a total of 2,956 all-electric vehicles were registered in Germany during 2012, a 37.2% .2 increase over 2011. When 901 registered plug-in hybrids are accounted for, 2012 registrations climbed to 3,857 units, and sales of plug-in electric car represented a 0.12% market share of new passenger vehicles sold in the country in 2012. 
Most sales in the country were made by corporate and fleet customers and 1,493 all-electric vehicles were registered by the automobile industry, as demonstration or research vehicles. Registrations of plug-in electric drive vehicles were led by the Opel Ampera Extended Range Electric Car with 828 units, followed by the Smart Electric Drive with 734 units. In addition, a total of 2,413 Renault Twizzies were sold during 2012, making Germany the top-selling European market for the electric quadricycle. Topic twenty thirteen to twenty fifteen. A total of seven thousand four hundred and thirty six new plug in electric cars were registered in Germany in twenty thirteen, consisting of six thousand and fifty one all electric cars and one thousand three hundred and eighty five plug in hybrids. Total registrations at the end of 2013 reached 12,156 units. The market share of plug-in electric passenger cars increased to 0.25% in 2013 from 0.12% in 2012. The Smart Electric Drive led new plug-in car registrations in 2013 with 2,146 units, followed by Renault Zoe with 1,019, the Nissan Leaf with 855 units, and the BMW i3 with 559. Registrations of plug-in electric cars totaled 13,049 units in 2014, consisting of 8,522 all-electric cars and 4,527 plug-in hybrids. The plug-in segment achieved a market share of 0.4% of new car sales that year. The BMW i3 ended 2014 as the top-selling plug-in electric car with 2,233 units registered, followed by the Smart 42 ED with 1,589, and the Renault Zoe with 1,498. Accounting for registrations of plug-in electric cars between January 2010 and June 2014, the leading model was the Smart Electric Drive with 3,959 units, with a significant number in use by car-sharing services, followed by the BMW i3 with 1,937 units, Nissan Leaf with 1,693 units, Renault Zoe with 1,000 532, and Opel Ampera with 1,450 units. Plug in hybrid registrations totaled 11,101 units in 2015, up 145% from 2014, and all electric cars totaled 12,363 units registered, up 45% from 2014. Combined sales of the two segments totaled 23,464 units. The plug-in segment achieved a market share of 0.7% of new car sales that year, up from 0.4% in 2014. Registrations totaled 3,176 plug-in cars in December 2015, achieving both, the highest monthly sales volume ever and a record market share of 1.28% of new car registrations that month. The top selling models in 2015 were the Kia Soul EV with 3,839 units, followed by the BMW i3 with 2,271, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV with 2,128, the Volkswagen Golf GTE with 2,109, and the Audi A3 e tron with 1,839, the magazine Der Spiegel Quest 
questioned whether the Kia Soul EV was actually the top selling plug in electric car in the country, as about 2,000 electric cars were registered in Germany and then imported to Norway as used cars, as part of a strategy of the Hyundai Kia Group to comply with European Union CO2 regulations. See controversies section above. There were about 50,000 plug-in electric cars registered in Germany by the end of 2015. Topic 2016-2017 During the first three quarters of 2016, sales of plug-in hybrids surpassed sales of all electric cars for the first time in the country with a total of 17,074 units were registered. The introduction of the purchase bonus did not produce immediate effect on plug-in car sales until September 2016, when registrations peaked to 3,061 units. Combined registrations of both type of plug-in accounted for 1.1% of new car registrations, allowing the German plug-in market share to pass the 1% mark for the first time during 2016. A total of 25,254 plug-in cars were registered in 2016, consisting of 13,744 plug-in hybrids and 11,410 all-electric cars cars, representing a market share of 0.72% of new car registrations that year. The top selling models in 2016 were the BMW i3 2863, Renault Zoe 2805, Audi A3 e-tron 1615, Tesla Model S 1474 and Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 1436, a record of 54,492 plug-in cars were registered in 2017, up 217% the previous year, and consisting of 29,436 plug-in hybrids and 25,056 all-electric cars. The top selling models in 2017 were the Audi A3 e-tron 4454, Renault Zoe 4322 and BMW i3 4319. Registrations achieved a record market share of 1.58% in 2017. Topic Top selling models by year The following table presents registrations of the top selling highway capable plug in electric cars available for retail customers by year between 2010 and June 2014. See also